Lyft just quietly released upfront pay for several drivers in several cities and markets just the other day. Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And Lyft finally, finally released upfront pay, upfront trip details to drivers in several cities across the US just this past Tuesday, which we were able to find out both Sergio and myself have it live in our markets and very happy about that because now it's going to compete with Uber's upfront model, which shows the pickup, the drop off and how much you're going to earn. Now, knowing this information up front is great because it's going to give you better decisions on whether that ride is going to be worth it to take or not. Knowing the drop off location is great because if it takes you to an area that you don't want to drive in because there might be no rides coming in or it's taking you away from where you actually want to be because there are rides or where it's busy. Well, you have the option to say, nah, I don't want to take that. And this is great in many aspects. The thing where it lacks, and this is something that Sergio and myself on Show Me The Money Club is doing a real big deep dive on both Uber's upfront fares and also Lyft's upfront pay. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned because we're going to be breaking down upfront fares and upfront pay, and we're going to be compiling so much information to figure out how it's going to be beneficial for drivers since they're using machine learning algorithms. So join us live Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notification. Now going back to upfront pay when it comes from Lyft is that it's going to be extremely similar almost identical to Uber's upfront model as well, where they're showing the time and the distance to the pickup and also the ride itself, but how they are calculating the ride. It's getting away from the time and distance model and going to a obscure model that they say time and distance is part of the factors making up a fare. It's also going to include things like the distance to pick up the passenger. So they might be adding some extra on long distance pickup trips. And also they're going to be looking at real time data, like how many rides are being requested at that time, how many drivers are on the road and other factors. So does this mean it's a pay cut in disguise, a rate cut in disguise because there is essentially no more rate card? Well, sort of yes and sort of no. Some rides is probably going to be just like Uber with rate rebalancing. Some rides are going to be better paying for the time and distance that you're going to be taking, while other rides are going to be much worse compared to the previous model. And again, this is something called rate rebalancing from Uber, and I'm assuming Lyft is doing the same exact thing, especially seeing certain screenshots already coming in from what Lyft is offering its drivers on the upfront pay model. Again, big reason why you should be watching Show Me The Money Club because we are going to do a big deep dive on both upfront pay and upfront earnings. So now the big question is, do you have Lyft's upfront pay in your market? If so, comment and let us know if you do and what market you're in. Since they did a quiet release to drivers, we're not really sure exactly how many markets it's in. So please comment your market and if you have it or not yet. So since Lyft likes to copy quite a bit from Uber, we can try to infer a couple of things about upfront pay from Lyft looking at the Uber model. And if you want to see something about the Uber model, check out this video right here. And again, to make sure you're subscribed right here, because we are going to be doing a big deep dive on both upfront fares and upfront pay, since it is a whole new pay structure for Uber and Lyft drivers. All right, drive smart, everyone.